sky looks clear. Winds are good. So in five, four, three, two, one. Yep, there she goes. <laughs> So this is obviously after the launch. We're back in the rocket lab. Um, so that was some footage of the second test flight of my big L3 project, right? Um, as you saw in the last video, it, the first flight didn't go too well. We had some repairs to do. So um, if you stick around and watch the, the rest of this video, I'll kind of talk about how we, you know, how we fix this. <laughs> this, uh, this is the zipper that happened on that, that first flight. up dudes um so we're here to fix this gash um basically i'm just going to cut 14 inches off of this payload tube um and hopefully that gives me enough for the nose cone and av bay to smash in here um i should probably measure that real quick you know we're just going to cut this and then we'll uh We'll see if I have to order more fiberglass at the end of the night. So I'm basically going to use a piece of newspaper as a guide to give me a straight edge. Um, and then I'm going to try one of these skill saw diamond blades. It's for like tile. Um, or actually it's for masonry, I guess. Um, Taylor from Rocket Channel on one of the Rocket Vlogs live streams mentioned that he likes cutting fiberglass with these. So... I happen to have one in the toolbox, so I'm going to try it out. Super pee peed up. That cut really well. Um, there's almost no fraying on the inside, but obviously my cut isn't like super straight. But I bet if I sand that for just a little bit, it's gonna be perfect. see how mission critical <laughs> all that extra payload was. So that's the bulkhead for my nose cone shoulder. This is my main chute, Sky Angle Sir 3XL. That's typically how I pack it. Oh boy all the harness that's associated with that. Oh, that sucks so bad. We're just gonna have to ground test and put a lot of Nomex in there. I think that'll work actually. All right, so obviously looking at that footage, uh, I was pretty pressed for space. So this is this is my avionics bay. Uh, I had about eight inches to fit about 10 inches of parachute. So what I decided to do was actually just trim an inch and a half, actually, right? Yeah, what I decided to do was just trim an inch and a half off the end of my uh, avionics bay. So rather than, you know, whatever this was, I think it was six and a half inches or seven inches of um, engagement there, I ended up with five and a half, which it's a little less than one diameter, but it's, it's good enough. 
Um, <laughs> unfortunately, I marked and cut it and accidentally cut the wrong end the first time around. <laughs> so I actually shored the AV bay one and a half inches each end. So um, as you can see, I've now got a, a couple pieces of uh, six inch diameter fiberglass to do something with. So yeah, obviously once I shortened the AV bay, um, I was able to pack a Sur 3 XL into like an eight inch long burrito, which um, I'm pretty proud of. So that worked, I ground tested it. You'll see some footage of that right here. Drogue six grams. Seems pretty good to me. Four grams main. Huh. I think we'll go five. So it's take two. Um, we're back out here at the Champlain Region Model Rocketry Club. And we're almost ready to put her together. Um, hopefully we have better luck this time. Rocket problems. Got our uh, Aerotech K1275 red line all adapted up. This launch was pretty cool. I got to bring my dad along. Um, it's definitely, you know, not only is it fun hanging out with him for half a day, which I don't get to do very often. Um, it's nice just to have an extra set of hands on the pad, especially when it's like a 10 foot tall rocket that weighs 40 pounds. So he, he gave me a hand putting that on the pad. So unlike last time, it's beautiful, sunny, no mud. The uh, scaleless rogue is, I don't know, out there somewhere right there. Um, hopefully we get a better flight this time. Let's see. Oh, look at it. Main suit at 700 feet and got drogue at Apogee. Yep. This time? Hopefully. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sky looks clear. Winds are good. So in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, that's Drogue. Like 24, 24 inch. <laughs> you see it? Don't catch it. Nobody catch this rocket. You see it, Henry? Yeah, there's. Oh, there goes a big old girl. Nice job, Sean. Thank you, guys. Beautiful flight. Beautiful flight. Try to hit Howie's car. Beautiful flight. <laughs> Keep right an eye out, it's coming close. This is a very heavy rocket. Yeah. Don't catch it. Getting closer. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.